Guns have fallen silent after an uneasy calm reigned after the most dangerous escalation between the Lebanese Shia militia party Hezbollah and the Israeli Defense Forces in over a decade. Hezbollah artillery batteries fired anti-tank missiles against Israeli military positions beyond Lebanon's southern border in retaliation of recent Israeli military activity against them in Lebanon and Syria. Several Israeli drones had been intercepted over the last week inside of Lebanon. Two of them precipitated inside the capital, Beirut. Hezbollah pledged to be ready for more action should Israel continue its drone operations. The Israeli Defense Forces retaliated by firing a hundred artillery shells inside Lebanon in the first such operation since the war they fought against Hezbollah in 2006. <laughs> האיש בבונקר בביירות יודע בדיוק למה הוא בבונקר. ואנחנו נמשיך לעשות כל מה שצריך כדי לשמור על ביטחון ישראל בים, ביבשה ובאוויר, ואנחנו גם נמשיך לפעול נגד האיום של הטילים המדויקים. Israeli military sources say that operations in Lebanon aim at preventing the Hezbollah from obtaining precision guided missiles, a deadly weapon the Lebanese Shia militia party has wanted for decades but has failed to obtain. Hezbollah is one of Israel's main and most dangerous enemies. It is believed to have 130,000 missiles and it is a historical and solid ally of Iran, which has funded, trained and armed it for decades. In the current scenario of tensions between Tel Aviv and Tehran, Hezbollah has become more instrumental to put pressure on Israel. The United Nations interim force in Lebanon sent peacekeeping troops in southern Lebanon to patrol the area. UN forces have been in Lebanon since 1978 to prevent any uncontrolled escalation of tensions. Israeli troops are on high alert and citizens have been advised to avoid border areas. A major military offensive seems to be fortunately off the table as things stand right now. The absence of casualties and injuries on both sides of the border gave the actors the possibility to decide to prevent this exchange of fire to go further. It was no doubt the most dangerous moment between Hezbollah and Israel since the war they fought in 2006. But this might not be the ending chapter of this very dangerous saga. It is unlikely that Hezbollah will stop its activities. They will continue to try to get precision guided missiles and hence Israel will continue to try to stop them everywhere in the region, in Syria and inside Lebanon. So there is the risk, the concrete risk of more episodes like this happening. Reporting from Jordan, Daniele Pagani for Vion World is One. Keep it